In this video, I want to demonstrate how to make an auxiliary view so I can properly show the details of this cutout. First, I'm going to go to the sketch ribbon and select line. I'm going to sketch a line here. The length doesn't matter. I'll push escape after I've created my line, but I'll zoom in and I'll select the line and I'll hold control and I'll select the outer edge part radius and I'll release control and I'll make these tangent and I'll say OK. Then I'll fit the sheet to the screen and I'll select this line I just sketched. Go to the drawing tab and tell it I want to make an auxiliary view. And then I'll click here to place my view on the drawing sheet. So I'm going to push escape. The DD follows the line I've created and I can stretch this out as much as I'd like. I can change this, so if I wanted this to be BB rather than DD, as long as I haven't used the letter B, I can change it. So I'll say OK. I can also move this over here. And because my view is locked to the original part, I'd like to break the view alignment and move this a little bit over here. To break the view alignment, I'm going to right click once the view is selected, move down to alignment, select break alignment, and now I can move this view over here and neaten up my sheet. And that's how I create an auxiliary view.